from time to time you may have a need to delete one, two, maybe a dozen, maybe a hundred or more items from a particular workspace. In this example, with all of these imported from Excel spreadsheet, you could have hundreds or thousands of items that you need to delete all at once. Let's take a look at the method that we have inside of PLM360 to mass delete uh, items from a workspace instead of going through one at a time and clicking on the delete button. To begin the process of mass deleting items from a workspace, first let's go to the Tools Import screen. And then we'll select the workspace that we're going to target. In my example, Items and Bill of Materials, and then the import type is going to be the Item Details. We don't need to go into the Parent and Child Bill of Material. Next we're going to choose a file. And the file can be either a file that you've used before or it can be the results of a report that you exported out to Excel just to get a list of all the files and items that you want to delete from a particular workspace. So go and choose the file and in my example I'm actually going to use the part loader Excel spreadsheet that I used to mass import to the workspace. So in this case I'm doing the inverse. I'm going to use that to remove and cut all of those items out of the items and bill of materials workspace. Next we'll give it the, uh, the import a name and a brief description for our record. Once we're done we'll click on create new and that'll take us to the next screen where we can start to align and save our configuration options and ultimately go through and delete all of these records. So the next thing to do is actually the, some of the same steps we take to uh, mass update to a workspace but in this case we want to align the part ID found inside of the Excel spreadsheet with another field that is already existing inside of the workspace item. In this case number. So part ID we're saying is the same as number. And if we come up to part ID and come to this drop down, we can tell it to match or watch for that. And in doing so, it'll change our interface a little bit. So remember to click on save when we make any uh, changes to the configuration. Down here on the bottom it's asking us, so for new records, what to do. For matching records, what do we do? And this is the one that we want to target. So we'll, for any matching records, we're going to select delete from the workspace. We click on save and this is going to be indicated over here it'll say delete instead of insert or update. So really what we've done is we've aligned part ID is the same thing as number we're told to match on this being a unique character and then what action to take. And now the next thing to do is to click on run. As we click on run remember that this is actually not going to do anything yet. This does give us the chance to cancel out but reading this, it'll tell us how many are created, updated, skipped, or in this case, this is what we want. We want deleted. So let's proceed. And we'll see a message that modifications have been made. Once you're successfully done, let's click on cancel and exit out and go and uh, check out our items and bill of materials workspace. All right, so back here inside of the items and bill of materials workspace, we can see that all of those records, those ones that were um, uploaded before and mass imported have now been mass deleted and mass removed. This is also something you can see by the way you administrators out there you can see this through the administration and the system log.